Hello everyone and welcome to a new IK video. This is Ken from 49 and again in this video guys I'll be talking about arena. However, the difference in this video that I have all the time in the world to explain the immortals that I'm using, the marches that I'm using, why I'm using them in this position. So just stay tuned. Before we begin our video, I wanted to introduce you guys to the campaign that is going on by Huawei App Gallery recently. You can simply download app gallery by going to this website appgallery.wowie.com and you can hover with your mouse over download app gallery here and then it will will start downloading you can simply go to this website on your mobile phone as well and you can download the app from there it is so simple doesn't need much explanation and this is the page for the campaign that is going on at the moment it is the second anniversary for infinity kingdom there is a lot of rewards that you can claim there on this campaign here you can claim 25 percent of coupons you can get some gift codes and vouchers on your purchases and there is a lot more you can go to discord for Huawei app gallery there is a lot of people here who there who will be able to assist you and provide all the information regarding the campaign and the promotion that is going on at the moment so make sure to go to discord of Huawei app gallery i'll leave the links to the campaign and the Huawei app gallery discord in the description so make sure to visit uh, back to our video guys in this video i'll be mainly attacking some people in arena and i'll explain it uh, i will be explaining why i'm using uh, this march is in this position and why I'm using these immortals in a certain position and for our first opponent here we have Dragiola. Dragiola have a very a very strong earth march however uh, his water march here is not very strong but his fire march is kind of decent at the moment and the way to beat him using my marches I usually go with my fire march against his water and then with my mixed march against his earth march his earth march is 413,000 at the moment and whenever i go against him i make sure that i use my alex in front of his alex and the reason for that because the alex in the mixed march is usually stronger than an alex in an earth march because all of these blessings that he gets from the mixed march uh, plus the defense blessing that is available here as well so he has the protection from defense blessing and oaken guard and also he has 25 percent damage increase for 12 seconds and the 30 percent attack speed increase for 12 seconds so i just need to make sure that my alex kill his alex uh, at the first 12 seconds of the battle or inflict as much damage as possible now there is a bit of an RNG in this fight because you, most of the time it depends on whose Alex is being protected is not being protected by Oaken Guard because Oaken Guard usually has like uh, it protects three random allied units so maybe just maybe if my Alex is not being protected by Oaken Guard here and his Alex is being protected by Oaken Guard I could lose the fight. So it is kind of risky, but it works for me most of the time. So let's give it a go. Uh, I'm going to start with my uh, fire first. And I need to make Hippo here because Hippo will be facing his Alex. And my Alex. I just need to make sure that it is Alex on his lead. Yeah, it is Alex on the lead. And then I'll need to use Ragnar here as well. In case my Mixed March lost, I need Ragnar to face Alex. Because only Ragnar will be able to tank Alex. And the reason I'm keeping Merlin away from Alex because he targets Merlin with his cleave. So I just need to make sure that my Merlin is safe. Uh, usually when I'm doing attacks in arena, uh, sometimes I use these buffs here. It makes a lot of difference. However, for this video, I'm not going to use any. And I'm even not using any war talents except for these. I'm using mainly my farm talent uh, three here in the dragon in the lore talent. So let's give it a go and there is our first twin let's check uh, you can see here that my uh, fire march beat his uh, water march as I mentioned his water march is not very strong the skills that he's using doesn't sync with each other and this is why he lost my hippo uh, my empress who dealt a lot of damage 
and of course the Jankees prevented some heals. As for my mixed march, as I explained earlier, uh, it is best to use Alex in front of his Alex, and this is how it ends. Uh, he's also using uh, Jankees here in front of my Hannibal Barca. If you take a look at Jankees here at the damage taken, you can see that Hannibal Barca killed Jankees with only the splash damage. It is only the cleave, the howling blast, his ultimate skill, and dragon power, the buff that he gets from an emperor so it is so important whenever you're facing a mixed march or you're using a mixed march to notice the position of these two immortals and the skills that you're using for example i'm using hannibal here in front of charles and jinkies khan uh, because hannibal usually deals a lot of splash damage either the damage coming from howling blast the cleave that i'm using and the dragon bar the buff that he gets from ken emperor this is why my hannibal was able to kill his jinkies very quickly even without touching him he, he literally died from splash damage and for the last fight uh my mixed march barely won against this fire however my water cleared hers adrian empire is our next opponent here he's also using a mixed march he's at 225 there it is he's in a mixed march and a water march as well uh, and he is using a lightning march his lightning is kind of annoying to deal with uh, because currently usually fire does very well against lightning however since my fire is not very strong it is kind of annoying to fight against people who are using lightning marches however for Adrain here I think it is so simple because his uh, mixed march is not as strong as mine He's, he got some really decent artifacts, but still his dragon is not as strong as mine. And the skills that he's using as well, not really compatible. So let's give it a go. I think we can go with our fire first. And then, yeah, I think my I think my fire march could beat his water. So let's give it a go. We can go uh, William and then Hannibal and then Ragnar. There we go. Alright, uh, my fire march lost against his water, which is kind of normal because usually water is strong against fire. This is common knowledge. And there it is. My mixed march is kind of a lot stronger than his uh, mixed march. Not exactly stronger, but he's using... Uh, resist instead of oaking guard in his mixed march and this is kind of makes a lot of difference imagine that my alex is being protected by oaking guard here so he's receiving 50 percent physical damage reduced and his alex uh, his alex is not being protected at all so this makes a lot of difference when it comes to a mixed march against mixed march also my dragon is a lot stronger you can see my dragon talents is at three and three his dragon talents is only at two at two and of course my mixed march couldn't beat his uh, lightning his lightning is so strong and it is actually normal for lightning to beat mixed marches since they got this annoying skill this skill as if it were made to counter mixed marches or whoever immortal that is using normal attacks so it's kind of random uh, i mean it's kind of normal for lightning to beat uh, mixed and there it is my water cleared the rest of it uh, the wizard, this is a new guy in our server. He's in the blue faction. I fought him a couple times. He's using a wine march with Alex. He's not using Zenobia. And his wine dragon uh, doesn't have dragon talents unlocked. And he's using this uh, holy march. So I think it's kind of, it looks easy to beat him. Uh, because this is considered... Uh, an, an air march because it has three immortals that is using uh, air more air immortals right so he's not using here he's not using malice he's using malice in here so i can go start with fire and then start with hannibal so i need alex to kill uh, manku and for the last fight i can start with atella since hippo is using fighting master so it is 
uh, William, then Hannibal, then Attila. William, Hannibal, Attila. There it is. All right, there it is. It, you can see here that my Emperor Sword dealt a lot of damage because he's using three Immortals that are Air or Wind Immortals. And Fire is so strong against Wind. And my Mixed March beat his Holy. It was kind of easy and he went and completed the fight beating his Fire March. And it's kind of nice that my Jankees, my Hannibal is still facing Jankees in this fight as well. You can see here that the damage taken from Hannibal was 8.5 million. And it is again only flash damage. Only like 800,000 damage came from normal attacks. Uh, I can beat Zen. However, ever since he started using his Mixed March in the middle, it's so hard to beat him at this point. Uh, whenever he's using Holy and then Shadow, I can beat him, but I'll need to alter a lot of Immortals and a lot of skills, and I'll need to add El Sed in my Water March in order to beat his Mixed March. Otherwise, I can never beat him. His marches are th are so strong. All three of his marches are above 400 talent. So we have Danix here. I think he has the same march as Dragiola. It is an earth march above 400 talent. And he got a very strong artifact. It is kind of... Oh, not a strong artifact. Anyway. He's, he's also using Jinkies behind Charles. So this should be an easy fight. I believe that my water march can beat his fire and lightning. If I use uh, Ragnar in front. So it is Ragnar and then Alex. Alright, this is his fire march. It is kind of... Uh, his dragon is very low. It doesn't even stand chance at this point of the game. Same for his lightning. I lost so hard from his Earth March, and this is how it looks like if it is a Mixed March against an Earth March. And you can see also here that Jenkies took almost 10 million damage here from Hannibal Barco. And again, it is only Splash damage. Howling Blast, Leave, and Dragon Power. This Dragon Power damage could be a lot more if I have a nice artifact for Cannon Bearer. However, I don't have his exclusive artifact, so this is the best that I can do. Uh, Dejia is very strong. He got a very strong Holy March and a decent Fire March and an annoying Earth March to fight against. To, so to fight Dejia, I, I, I have to change a couple of skills. And in order to do this... I'll need to make some changes. For example, I need to use my Water March against his uh, Earth March. So I'm gonna replace this skill here with Oaking Guard. Oaking Guard is the most important skill to use against physical teams. Uh, this is why I'm gonna remove it from my Mixed and move it uh, in my Water and then I'm gonna use energy suppression here. Energy suppression is one of the most important skills to use against holy marches. It slow down their energy regain, which means that Manko will take a lot longer to activate his skill. And one more thing, I think I can Yeah, I can remove this or this because I need Ragnar to tank his Alex and he's not using a weakness on his Alex, uh, I mean on his Earth March. And as for my Hippolyta, it lacks a skill. I just need to remove shelter for Malice. And here I can use Magical Shield here since I'm gonna go with my fire against his fire. His fire is a lot stronger than mine, so I just need to chunk it down 
so it makes it a lot easier for my mixed march to continue the fight. So I'm gonna start with William against his uh, fire marches, and then I'm gonna go with Alex against his Manku, and then I'm gonna go with Atella and Ragnar will be facing Alex. It is William. And then Alex and then uh, Ragnar, right? No, it is Atella. Should be Atella in here. And since Alex will be facing Ragnar here, I need to keep Merlin away from his Alex. This is how it should be. And yeah, let's give it a go. I don't think I can beat him without boosts. However, well, actually I can. There it is. You can see here that my fire my fire didn't stand a chance against his fire march. He's using assist on Cyrus and uh, he's using face annihilation and a very strong artifact on his Empress Who, which is his, her exclusive artifact. He got the exclusive artifact for William too. So it is kind of annoying to fight against his fire march. However, my mixed march, I'm pretty confident that it can beat his holy march even though I lost a lot of troops here. Only 53,000 troops survived in this fight here. However, I was able to beat his holy march because he doesn't have his dragon talents unlocked. This is why I mentioned earlier in one of my previous videos that the dragon talents is kind of a nerf to holy and shadow because it is so hard to develop its uh, talents. And then there it is, my water march beating his earth march you can see here that there is a lot of damage coming from merlin because this march here has an insane amount of healings you can see that he's using shelter and i believe he was using ah uh, he changed his skills i think because he was using yeah it, he's using vitality touch on zenobia lots of healing from zenobia as well however i think merlin finished the fight very quickly because uh, he couldn't even make a lot of heals this is how the fight ended very quickly and you can see here that even though my ragnar was facing his alex he didn't take much damage only fi like five million damage because of, of all the defensive skills that i'm using on ragnar right now and you can see that life flank uh reflected a lot of damage this is three million damage that is being reflected to his own march uh, this will be all for this video guys. This is how I'm handling my marches in arena and how I'm changing a lot of skills and immortals in order to beat other stronger opponents. I uh, hope this was helpful for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to visit Discord for Huawei App Gallery to check the promotions and the rewards for the current campaign. And if you have any question, I'm sure that there are a lot of people there that can help you and provide you all the support. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and you can check all the links uh, regarding the campaign in the description. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.